Don't paint your kitchen cabinets white. Well, I didn't. And I'll show you what I ended up doing in this kitchen and why. I get it, people. White kitchens, they're super popular, super elegant and classy and minimalist. They're also absolutely everywhere. It's a tough one to wrap my head around sometimes because you could easily say that white cabinets are very much a trend that is liable to pass in time, but there's also an argument that can be made where white is pretty timeless in design. That being said, I decided to deviate from off-white cabinets, so let's go over to my kitchen and talk about what color I ended up picking and my reasoning behind it. And for the record, I'll also share my favorite off-white to use on cabinets at the end, if you're still married to that idea. Scene change. So here we are. This is the kitchen that you probably saw in the background on other videos. And as you can see, no white cabinets here. In fact, these used to be just kind of a honey oak, sort of fake wood that we decided to paint to refresh the space. Now, one of the important things to consider here was this isn't technically a custom kitchen. We actually moved into this condominium and we wanted to sort of repurpose what was already here. Sometimes you don't really have the budget or the need to completely gut an entire kitchen. And that was where we were at. We had the bathroom we wanted to get done, we had other things, and we also liked what was here. We actually appreciate the black subway tile, which is kind of a classic look, and it's a nice take on the traditional white subway tile that is really popular now. And there was also this beautiful granite countertop that we did not want to replace. Now I'll get to the color in just a second, but I wanna give you my thought process on how we came up with this color. The first thing we were planning to paint were the walls in the condo itself. Just because it's the largest surface area by far, so that's something we really wanted to solidify at first. We ended up going with Plaster of Paris by Benjamin Moore, if you didn't already know. It's a beautiful, pretty nuanced, light neutral tone, a bit beigey, but also has a tiny bit of taupe, a bit of gray. Actually, there is no gray in the colorant because all the CSP colors, there are like five to six different colorants that go inside, but there's no black, no gray. It's all done with actual color hues, which is a cool fun fact. Once we found that color and painted that, then we could start to figure out what to do with the cabinet. And I know I do this for a living. I'm a color guy, a paint dude, but I think the color selection process was actually quite easy. All we really did was we looked at the wall color, we looked at the countertop, we knew those things, they were gonna stay. So whatever color we picked for the cabinets had to work. And what I simply did was I took out my Benjamin Moore color fan deck and I placed it on the countertop and I placed it next to the wall and I tried to find a bit of a middle ground color. I tried to find a color that was plucked out from the granite, which there's a lot of colors in that granite. And then I want it to be different enough in contrast to the walls. So I didn't want something overly light because the walls are already light. I knew I wanted this to pop a bit more, but I also didn't want to go too dark because we had this black subway tile to work with. So I immediately knew I was working in mid-tone territory. So the color I ended up picking for these cabinets was Stone Hearth. A beautiful color that isn't mega popular, especially when you compare it to the Revere Pewters and the Thunders of the world. But what I loved about it was it seemed to mesh perfectly with all of those subtle tones that were working in the granite. Cause yes, it is gray leaning and there's black, but there's also a bit of a taupe, a little bit of an ambery kind of red color that's coming through. And I wanted that to be reflected in the color that I used on the cabinets. Stone Hearth really fit the bill here. Really happy with it. And also to top it off, we went with matte black Ikea handles. Believe it or not, Ikea, super cheap, and actually really, really fun and very practical. Nice chunky handles to grip onto, work perfectly with the backsplash. Just a pretty simple process of working with what's already here. I knew I loved my wall color. I didn't want to change either the backsplash or the countertop that was here. All that needed to change was this paint color. So I made sure that they all work together really nicely. I could have gone with something a bit bolder. I could have even gone with white, but instead I just picked a color that seamlessly worked its way into my overall color scheme, but still having a little bit of visual contrast to separate from the walls. And also, did I need to go this wide with the drawers? Absolutely not. But you know what? I'm glad I did because they're super practical and just a bit different, you know? Why not? Back to the studio. So there you have it. You don't need to paint your kitchen cabinets white or even off-white. 
Sometimes you can just pick a color that's already there or at least a variation of it and use that instead. And as for my favorite off-white tees and kitchen cabinets, well, that's right over here. Love this color. White Dove is just a super awesome kitchen cabinet color. Not too bright where it's hard to upkeep, but also soft and elegant and still pretty modern. So uh, check it out. Bye-bye.